Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your computer's keyboard is typing multiple letters at once. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I recommend doing would be just to restart your computer. That's usually a pretty good workaround or fix all for a lot of issues. So I'd recommend doing that first. Something else I'd recommend trying here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select on the left panel where it says accessibility. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath interaction and select the keyboard. And now if the sticky keys, filter keys, or toggle keys, if any of them are enabled, you want to go ahead and toggle them to the off position because that could certainly be creating or contributing to the problem. So again, make sure they are all turned to the off position. If you close out of here and you open up the search menu and type in control panel, go ahead and open that up. So your view by, by large icons, and then you want to select keyboard. You want to make sure your character repeat as well as repeat rate are set to appropriate uh, lengths here. So you may want to adjust the speed as well. So if the repeat rate is a little slow, you may want to adjust it to be faster here. So just make that adjustment as well as the cursor blink rate, even though it's not directly related. It is a supplemental setting you can address here as well. And then you would select OK to save any changes. And then, like I said, hopefully at that point, your issues should have been resolved. You may also need to get a new keyboard. You may have an older keyboard, and they don't last forever if you're a pretty hard typer. Uh, you know what I mean? Especially external keyboards, they don't last forever, so you may need to purchase a new one. And that's just something else to consider as well. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.